Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Healthboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you care too, make sure to subscribe. So for today's video, I thought I would try something a little bit different. I got this video idea when I was watching the unboxing of my birthday redo. So the Balenciaga Extra Small Hourglass in the black glitter. I'll link to it in the corner. I was watching it back and I was I don't know, I just like saw my outfit and I was like, oh, I like how many layers I'm wearing. And then I started to think of how like, oh, now that I have like more bags in different sizes, I thought like, oh, layering, that sounds like an interesting concept of bags. So I've seen some other accounts do it like maybe as a joke or I don't know, I feel like they didn't really take it seriously, but I don't know, I think there's some promise to it, especially because like mini bags are so popular now, like why not? stacks of mini bags or even like bags of different sizes. I don't know, we'll figure it out together. But yeah, I thought this would be an interesting video and hopefully it'll help some people figure out how they might want to style some of the bags they have. So let's get started. So for the first combo, we have bags that are different sizes, but they're the same print uh, and the same model. I do wear these together a lot, actually. I think that's the main way I wear them, but the idea of like having like this like tiny little nano pouch. I wear it mostly as a necklace though, so it doesn't have the same effect. Just because this strap isn't like long enough. But then layering it with this, I think seeing the just all of the little like characters is super fun. And the fact that it's the same color leather and the same kind of like technique, I think makes it super easy. Honestly, I would wear this with what I'm wearing right now. I think this is kind of the easiest one to do because it's similar shape, similar colors. So I'm not really gonna like try it on for you guys, but definitely one way to do it that's super easy. So that was the first one. And now for the second option is bags that are either the same model, but different sizes and different colors, or they could be the same size, but they're still different colors, or different prints, different things, something like that, right? For my example I wanted to show, uh, it's of course, it's gonna be the hourglass. So I did actually just do a first impressions video of this. So I'll link it above. I mean, in proportion, this looks gigantic <laughs> compared to this one. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever like actually looked at them like face to face. Like, I don't know. It's so interesting. But something that I mentioned in the first impressions video is that these straps are all the same like thickness and length so they all look the same and one thing that i discovered is that if you set the length of the strap to the same length of the strap they basically rest at the same area so like you can get that kind of like i don't know bag in a bag look like bagception like ooh. the thing i love about this is you can style it two ways one way that I think would be really cool to style this is like very simple. If you keep your styling like very minimal, uh, maybe just like a white t-shirt, black slacks or, you know, something like that, then you can really let like this combo shine. And I don't know, that's definitely attention grabbing if you wear like two bags at once. I think it's great because then you have like this bag for like maybe your bulkier stuff, like you can put like your battery charger or mini umbrella all of your uh, lactose enzyme pills. <laughs> and then this one, maybe you could just put like your phone and your card holder and I don't know. <laughs> but I just, I do love the idea of letting these stand out. Or if you're more adventurous, you could, so same bags, but then wearing a much more layered look. Something that maybe is like, a little bit more kooky in a way so then you get kind of this like layer on layer on layer like you're mad about layers and i think that kind of idea is really interesting because it's kind of just exaggerating a concept in your style i mean first of all you need the right kinds of clothes that will work with that but if you're able to pull that off a it's hilarious and b I'm, it's gonna look good and it's gonna be it's gonna get you like all kinds of attention, I'm sure. That's the first one for these ones. And of course, like like I said, it doesn't need to be different sizes like this. I just like this because it's like the bagception kind of idea. But like, you know how I have like all these, like a ton of like the small Telfars. Like I've definitely worn multiple at a time with whatever outfit and it looks good and it looks fun. And 
that's definitely something that's really easily attainable too because like Telfars, they are on the more affordable side. I can wear a couple if I want to. And then that can also just be with like a plain Jane outfit and it still looks, I don't know, it creates a statement. One of the things I like about this is even if your bags aren't like like crazy or insane shapes or whatever, like you can still make a statement with them and I think that's cool. All right, two down, one to go. So for the last one, it is using a similar print or color bag, but with a different shape. So when I say this, it's most likely going to work with bags that are the same brand. Otherwise, even if you have two different brown bags, those tones are going to be different and they might not match. I think if you can figure out if they do match or not, feel free to go ahead. But, I mean, I was kind of thinking, like, if you have multiple Louis Vuitton bags, or if you have multiple Gucci Supreme canvas bags, things like that, that are very consistent and have different shapes and things like that, but then you can still, like, mix and match. But for my example, I wanted to share, of course, it's going to be the Loewe Small Puzzle with the soot sprites, and then the heel bag that I showed earlier. I think this is almost more that like opportunity for logo mania and I know logo mania is like on its way out but I think there's still ways to like reinvigorate it and have fun with it in ways that maybe haven't been done before. I kind of like to think about this one as like you're kind of creating your own multi pochette trend kind of thing right because with the multi pochette you have that kind of excessiveness from seeing so much of the pattern on so many different pouches and then when you're doing it like this you're doing the same thing. You're getting a lot of the same print or monogram or whatever on different shapes though. So that's where that little bit of spark, that little bit of craziness comes from instead of it being just like the same like rectangular shape. That being said, if you have multiple rectangular shapes but they're like just slightly different, I think that could still be interesting as well. I would say that when styling this kind of look, the obvious go-to is to keep it simple. Really let the accessories do the talking, especially if you have something like this. Keeping it like maybe you wear all black or just some other simple look that, you know, is almost like every day, not much other pattern or something like that, so this really can sing. On the other hand, say you want to do this look with some Louis Vuitton monogram, and then you happen to have a Louis Vuitton monogram scarf or stole or shirt, jacket, whatever, wear it. So it's like monogram on monogram on monogram, print on print on print. I am fully supportive of like taking it to the next level, turning it up to 11, because I think that's when you have fun with your styling, right? Like when you're doing things that are a little bit ridiculous that most people wouldn't do, I think that's when people will like, oh, and like, sure, like, if you're doing with monograms, it's kind of like, oh, <laughs> I'm like showing off, but like, I don't know if you got it, flaunt it. And I think it's just fun. Like, let's have fun with wearing clothes again. Like, I've seen so many people like with their simple bags and all black outfits and keeping things very like calm and cool. And like, it, there's absolutely a time and a place for that. But there's also a time and a place to go crazy. I, I hope this video helps someone figure out what they want to do when it comes to styling. Uh, I hope my examples weren't too, like, <laughs> weird? <laughs> I don't know, let me know if you try it out, if you think it's a really fun idea, or if you think it's, like, really terrible. Because I, I can envision this being difficult for some people, because I think you need to have, like, the right kind of clothes, or right kind of accessories, but I don't know, share, share, please, let me know if you been able to do it because uh, every time I do it I have a good time so I would love to hear some stories of some good times but other than that that is all I have for you today so if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe it lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind designer luxury until next time <sighs> oh, I'm so mad mom